Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of War of the Jungle number four from Dynamite Comics. This is the brand new officially licensed Tarzan series that's going on right now. You can get this at your local comic shop or online retailers that sell comics. It's available digitally on Amazon, and it's also going to be coming out in a trade at some point. They'll collect the first plot line. It's a brand new version of Tarzan and the first plot line tells its origin and his first encounters with man. This series is written by the great Dan Jurgens, and this will be a non-spoiler review. And before we get started, yes, this is a new t-shirt I just got. This is from Edgar Rice Burroughs Inc. on Amazon. And so this is Joe Jusco art and it is gorgeous. So let's talk about the cover that I got. I got this one because it's got Nakima on it, which is Kind of uncommon for Tarzan covers to get the little monkey that hangs around them in the novels. And so I thought this looked awesome and absolutely adorable. Now, this is not from the novels, I don't think. I don't think there's any point at which Nakima is on Tarzan's shoulder with his own little spear like this. Though I do wonder where he got it from for this cover. Um, maybe he uh, beat up the Ant-Man and took one of their spears or uh, maybe there's a lost civilization of monkeys with monkey-sized spears that he got it from or something. The, the mind just boggles at the possibilities. This was one of 12 covers for the issue and none of them have anything to do with the issue and most of them don't have a whole lot to do with anything. Um, a lot of them have a giant snake, which is not in the issue, of course. Um, the A cover, which is the regular cover, even has this giant panther. I have no idea where that comes from. Uh, but there are some interesting covers in the mix, kind of like uh, Benito Gallego's cover. He's the interior artist. Tarzan just sitting here chilling, but I think this was one of the more expensive, you know, kind of limited variant covers. All right, and you can see the interior here by Benito Gallego. And so we still have our framing sequences set in the 1950s with an old Tarzan. And then there's the main story which gives Tarzan's new origin and is set during his youth. And so what you essentially have is one series that tells both a Dark Knight Return style story with the character in his later years and also a year one story with the character in his youth. And this gives the series a very similar hook to old Conan comics. Like if you look at the first run of Marvel Conan or the Dark Horse Conan, both of those establish that Conan is a young barbarian, but he will eventually become king. And kind of the intriguing thing about Conan was how he got from being that barbarian to somehow becoming king. And so, the same tension is here where we're wondering as a reader how does Tarzan get from being this young primitive guy who was raised by apes to being this old British lord that we see in the framing sequences. And so the previous issues of this series have used elements from Tarzan of the apes and kind of remixed them and reimagined them in new ways. This is the part of the story where it goes in its own direction. And so it's still good. I still love it. And it puts Tarzan in some very interesting situations that he can't fight his way out of. And in some complex moral situations that, you know, he has to make some tough decisions that tell you a lot about who he is as a character. However, I don't think Jurgens is through using elements from Tarzan of the Apes, because we certainly have one left that hasn't shown up yet, and that, of course, is Tarzan's wife, Jane. Um, and so since we're on issue four and she hasn't appeared yet, my assumption is that she's probably being held for the second plot line, and that's when she'll probably show up. And if so, that's a great idea because it will give that second plot line as much weight as the first one because obviously Jane is an incredibly important part of Tarzan becoming human and going to civilization and just you know his general direction and outlook of life and so I'm still gonna wait until they finish this first plot line in order to do the spoiler review 
because even though if they're not directly using stuff from the novels, they're still using characters in a different way than were in the novels. Like for instance, Kerchak's plot line goes in a different direction than it did in the novels. And I think a lot of people are gonna dig that. But um, I, I'm looking forward to doing the spoiler review because this is such a great series. It's a more grounded version of Tarzan, but Jurgens makes that work. And it's just really cool to see some of the themes that Burroughs would use in later novels incorporated into the origin. But Lord of the Jungle is not the only awesome thing happening with Tarzan and Tarzan related stuff right now. Tarzan's wife, Jane Porter, has her own graphic novel. I just got the Kickstarter version of the novel with the rewards. I did that in a separate review where I opened it up and took a look at all the stuff I got. Uh, this should be available on EdgarRiceBurrows.com with a different cover at some point for you guys to order. I'll let you guys know when I see it up on the shop because I haven't read it yet, but man, the artwork from Mariana Puglia looks gorgeous. And I'm sure, judging from all the other stuff Mike Wolfer has written with these characters, this is going to be awesome. And speaking of Kickstarters, Tarzan The Untold Stories is currently on Kickstarter and this is an ambitious project to reprint Tarzan comics from the 80s. The first volume is going to be roughly 200 pages worth of story. And this is going to be the first of nine volumes that are planned. And so it's going to be available in oversized hardcovers. You'll have choice between black and white and color. And you can also get one edition that's the treasury size that's going to have both black and white and color versions in it. And so it looks really, really great. It is a European Kickstarter though. So keep in mind that each tier is gonna tell you how much it weighs and you wanna take that weight and look at the chart at the bottom of the page if you're curious about how much this shipping will probably cost. They're not gonna charge you for shipping until everything goes out, which is planned to be in December of this year. And as of the making of this video, you got 23 days to get in on this, guys. And so, yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. I've got a review of the Jane Porter graphic novel coming up, and I'll be reviewing future issues of Lord of the Jungle, of course. I've got retro reviews of the Dark Horse run of Tarzan coming, and I've also got a video of the secrets I found out in the Tarzan the Epic Adventures promo kit, and I did get it repaired, guys, and it does now make sound when I open it and I'll let you guys know what that sound is. So lots of great videos coming in the next few weeks. Like and subscribe for more videos and until next time, see ya.